quite sure what's going on with my hair, not gonna lie. I curled it yesterday and it's just dropped out. My hair absolutely repels curls. Now, recently I have been really stuck on video ideas. So if you do have any ideas, things you'd like me to film, please let me know down below because I really want to film, but I just don't know what to film. So I thought I would do an updated everyday makeup look for you just because I'm using a few different products and I just really like watching these sorts of videos so I thought I would film what I like to watch. Now this is a bit more makeup than I would normally wear. Normally I just wear like a tiny bit of concealer, bit of product through my eyebrows and some mascara on a daily basis but I thought I'd do my sort of full face but still natural because else the video would be like two seconds long if I just whacked a bit of concealer and mascara on. To start off with I have already just moisturised my skin, I don't bother with primer and the foundation I've been using recently when I have been wearing foundation which isn't very often is the NYX Total Control um, Drop Foundation, this one here. Now, I do actually really like the formula of this. I wish it was a little bit more glowy. It does dry down kind of matte. And also, you don't get very much product at all. Like, look at the size of that versus my hand. But the problem was, all of my other foundations were breaking me out, so I was kind of on a mission to find one that suits my skin. And so far, touch wood, this is okay. Now, this foundation is super watery. It's really liquidy, so, when I drop it on my face, I have to quite quickly blend it out. And then just using my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, I just bounce that in. Now I only use, what was that, four drops? And that just gives me a really light wash of coverage. I don't feel like I need too much coverage, so I quite like my skin to still be shining through a little bit. Okie dokie, that is all blended in. So, let's move on to concealer. Of course, I am using my Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is in the shade C1. I have gone through about three or four tubes of this concealer. I absolutely love it. I currently have a dog between my legs. Daisy is just, I'm sat on my knees basically. So where the crack between my legs is, where my knees are, Daisy has just found herself in there and just fell asleep. I mean, at least she's leaving my makeup alone. <laughs> Last time I tried to film a makeup video when she was in the room, she just kept picking up my makeup brushes and chewing them. So <laughs> we've slightly advanced from there. So to set my face, I'm obviously using my Stay Matte Powder and I've actually liked setting my face with a damp sponge. So this is the, oh, what's it called, Sports Effects from uh, Sports Direct. They've got a beauty line and this makeup sponge is actually really good. So I just dab it in there because I cannot find a loose powder which I like as much as the Stay Matte Powder. And I just use this to very gently just set on my eyes. And then because there's a fair bit of powder already on my face, I take just a clean brush, I don't add any more powder, and I just dust around the powder that's already on my face. I am looking ghostly, so we now need to add a little bit of colour back to my face. So I'm going to use my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and I'm firstly just gonna go in with this very lightest contour shade on a number seven blusher brush and just ever so slightly contour my face. Because I am looking so pale because it is the middle of January and we haven't seen the sun in about five months, I mix this middle shade, the bronzing shade, which I used to just use on its own but I actually just mix it with this orangey, like pale setting powder colour and that creates a really nice warm but not too dark bronzer. And I pop this on the tops of my cheekbones. Oh my goodness, I have become absolutely obsessed with uh, Vampire Diaries on Netflix. I've been watching it for about a week and I'm already on at season three. 
It's so good. I don't understand why I didn't watch it sooner. My friend has been telling me for the longest time, like years, to watch it and I've just never really... I don't know, I never thought it was something that I'd be interested in. I've just become completely obsessed with it. My dad knows that every time he walks in the lounge, that is more than likely going to be on the TV. Oh, I'm just taking this blusher palette from Sleek. Uh, it is in the shade Pink Lemonade. It is super pretty and I'm going to mix the colours Icing Sugar and Pink Mint. Sorry about that, my camera just stopped recording. I'm just going to pop that on my cheeks. So I used to use a tiny little brush or a fan brush for my highlight, but recently I've really been liking using the contour brush from Real Techniques. As you can see, I literally never use the brushes for their purpose. And I'm going to take this shade here from the Soph X Makeup Revolution palette. Do these have shades? No, just this one here and maybe mix in a tiny bit of the white one. And using this ginormous brush, I, let me get my mirror, I just like to swipe this on the tops of my cheekbones and I feel like it just blends it out nicer. I felt like when I was using this smaller brush I had almost a line where the highlight was and then it wasn't highlighted and wasn't highlighted, it was just a strip of highlight. Whereas this, just using a bigger brush makes it all blend nicer and it kind of just looks a little bit more natural. Now, I keep going back and forth with brow products, but the ones that I've been reaching towards are the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Chocolate and the Revolution Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. Now, I prefer using a brow pencil just because I find that it's easier, quicker and just looks a bit neater but then I much prefer the colour of this brow pomade so recently I have just been mainly using this brow pomade now this lasts forever I've had this for months and I've barely made a dent in it so I just like to brush my brows into place a little bit and then use the brow pomade just to fill them in I mean I definitely don't do anything too crazy I quite like my brows to look kind of natural okay they will have to do like I said I'm really not the best at brows. I'm sure you can do a better job than me. Now, it is very, very rare that I wear eyeshadow on a daily basis, but I thought today I'd just put a little bit on. I mean, sometimes I add a little bit of a wash of colour, but that's only if I can be bothered. Just priming my eyelids quickly, and I think because I'm wearing this pinky shirt, if you can see, I quite like it. I'm just going to add a wash of just this pink shimmer. This is the Too Faced Naturalized Palette and I'm just going to do a wash of the shade Heaven over my lid just to add a little bit of colour. Oh, I can definitely feel this falling onto my face. I think I might actually just take that same colour on my inner corner as well because I've just realised I completely forgot to highlight my inner corners. There we go, that's quite pretty. This absolutely terrifies me every time I curl my lashes, but we just don't think about it. And I don't know why I do this, I just do, but after curling one eye, one eye, one eyelash, I then do the mascara straight away so that my lashes don't really have time to flop back. Normally I'd add a little bit of lip balm and my lips are really dry so I do need some lip balm but for some reason I cannot find one anywhere around me so just know that that's what I normally do. I can't find any lip products anywhere. <laughs> okay so that is the end of the video and just my natural everyday makeup look. I know that it is fairly simple but who can be bothered to put on tons of makeup? And I mean, this is more than I normally wear. I love you all lots and lots, and I will see you maybe, hopefully, potentially next week with another video. Bye. Now, ignoring the fact that I'm in my pajamas, which no one ever normally sees, this is what I've been dealing with the whole time I've been filming. Can you see what I've been saying? She's just a sleepy baby.